Hey guys, today's Super Bowl Sunday and I want to give you a short little video tip today. I've been getting some emails and messages from people, viewers asking for more fishing tips. And you guys saw that video I posted last night on uh, the Triton lobster trip and I caught that nice calico bass. And people were asking, how did you catch that calico bass? It's February, the water's cold, nobody's fishing for bass. How did you catch that bass? And we only had like 40 minutes to fish. I caught three legals and uh, probably could have caught more, but I ran out of squid. I only had a few pieces of squid to fish with. And then um, we had to start catching the lobsters and bringing in the hoop nets. So here's a little video of the calico bass I'm talking about. See the video right there? Okay, that's the calico. And I caught it on a six ounce B52 bucktail jig, red and white, just like this one except different colors. I don't have a red and white with me right now here at home. So um, here's a blue and white one. Same model right here, six ounce. Just use this bucktail with a whole squid on it, working it really close to the bottom. And that's how I caught the fish. Now what you have to remember about this time of year, the water's really cold. And because the water's cold, you have to really slow down your presentation. You almost have to hit the fish on the head with the bait to catch them. You know, you're fishing this, this time of year, February, January, even coming up in March, water's still going to be cold. You got to fish really slow. The fish are there. The calicos don't migrate a long distance like the sand bass do. The calicos will stay right there. And even sand bass, there'll be some home guards that will stay in the same area year round. But if you want to go catch calicos and catch sand bass, this time of year, you got to fish really slow. Just take a big bucktail, four or six ounce bucktail, put on a whole squid, cast it out and work it to you. And what I mean by that is let it hit the bottom, say you're in 50, 60 feet of water, hop it up a little bit and then let it flutter back down. Sit there for a second or two, pick up the slack, lift up the rod tip, make it hop up again and then let it flutter right back down. And you just wanna bounce it from rock to rock, stone to stone. And as you cover that bottom area, the fish is gonna see it. And if you get it close enough to them, they're gonna bite it. One nice thing about fishing a really big bucktail like this is you're not going to catch little fish. If you get a fish, it's probably going to be a legal sized fish. And depending on the rocks you're fishing, there might be lingcod and other fish mixed in. But right now, rock fishing is closed. So I'm just talking about calico bass fishing because calico bass you can catch right now in sand bass. You can catch a white sea bass too. But normally more on these rocks, it's going to be more bass and even sculpin too. So this works out really good. Another thing I like to do sometimes is if I'm in shallower water, say 30, 40 feet, I'll go to a smaller size jig, like a four ounce. And don't be afraid to put on like a single tail grub like this. Works out really nice. Get some crazy glue or strong glue that you can glue that tail on there and fish it the same way. Work it out there, cast it out there, work it back to you, have it swim over the rocks, stop on the rocks, swim back. You can put a whole squid, strip of mackerel on there will work. But I've caught lots of fish in the last couple of years fishing the same exact rig with no bait on it. Last year I caught quite a few yellowtail, even one monster 30 pounder Catalina on this same exact outfit. Four ounce B52 bucktail, single tail grub, just working it back, swimming it back to me. Yellow was close to the bottom, saw it, came up, ate it, set the hook on it, and with a nice big hook, no problem, brought it in. We have the brand new B52 um, HD models too. They have even bigger hooks, ADOT Mustad hooks, super strong hooks. If you're gonna be targeting white sea bass, halibut, huge calicos, that's the model I'd be fishing a four ounce B52 with that brand new larger hook, the HD model. So I'll put a little link up here so you can see those on our website. But I just wanna give you some tips on Super Bowl Sunday. Uh, I've been getting some messages. You guys saw me catch that. Nice calico bass in that little video I posted for Ryan on the Triton. And uh, it was fun. We didn't get limits of uh, lobsters, but a lot of people all got lobsters. Some guys had five, six lobsters to take home. Almost everybody had lobsters, and I got one. That's been my magic number. I get one lobster per trip, it seems like. But um, I just want to give you some fishing tips so you can get out there and go fishing. You don't have to wait for March for the rock fishing to open. You can go right now, go tomorrow after the game's over. I know no one's going fishing today. They're all going to enjoy the Super Bowl, and I'm going to be doing the same thing. But I just thought I'd share this little tip with you. Make sure you have some B-52 bucktail jigs. When you go fishing, especially in the colder water like this, 
you won't be disappointed. You'll catch some fish. You can find them at your local Turner's Outdoorsman store, and lots of local dealers have them too, independent dealers. All right, don't forget to like this video, and please subscribe right here to my YouTube channel so you can get all the updates and more video tips. Well, thanks for watching. I'll talk to y'all really soon. And enjoy the game. It's going to be a good one. Bye, everybody.